Hi everyone, I wanted to provide a, a demo to help clarify the new sign in with Twitter functionality we've added to Twitter Gadget. Um, we've had a lot of questions and there's been a lot of confusion as to how the process works, the process flow, um, accessing Twitter Gadget with different usernames um, and so on and so forth, or even accessing different third party applications with different users and, and why some people think that's problematic, but once you see this de demo you'll understand that it actually uh, it is feasible and capable. You just have to understand how the sign in with Twitter functionality works. Um, real quick, what you'll notice below the sign in with Twitter button, um, we've added a new Remember Me option. And what that does is, is if you don't click that and then you sign in to Twitter Gadget, um, we'll only keep that login active for the duration of the browser session, but as soon as you close your browser window, you'll automatically be logged out. If you want to retain the old functionality that automatically keeps you logged in for seven days, um, before we expire your session, go ahead and click that Remember Me button, and all will be the same. What do I want to do show right now is right now we're an example of logging in from Square One. That is, if you go to the Twitter.com domain, you'll see you're not currently logged in as any user. Obviously, you're not logged into Twitter Gadget either. So when we click the Sign In with Twitter button, what happens is um, we pop up a dialog box. We take you over to the Twitter.com domain so that they're the only ones you're supplying uh, your username or password to anymore. You go ahead and sign in at Twitter.com. And now it'll ask you, do you want to allow access to this third-party application? Um, obviously, if you wish to use Twitter Gadget, you click the Allow button. Twitter authorizes you, says it's successful. What we do is automatically, behind the scenes, auto-refresh that login page with this, the new verification credentials we've been supplied to by Twitter. Um, and you're now automatic, you are now logged in and can begin using Twitter Gadget. What happens though, what I want to point out is, is, is by going through this sign in with Twitter process, you had to log in at Twitter directly to grant us access using that particular username uh, that you wish to access Twitter Gadget with. By virtue of doing that, if we go ahead and go back to Twitter.com and hit refresh, what you're going to see is you've essentially logged yourself into Twitter.com as well. And so what that means is, is say you're back to Twitter Gadget uh, and you're using it happily and now all of a sudden you say, ah, you know, I want to use Twitter Gadget with a different username. And you go ahead and click that logout button. And you say, okay, now I'm going to sign on Twitter again uh, with a new user. But what happens is you can see you were never presented the opportunity to sign in as a different user and you're automatically re-logged in again um, as that previous username. Well, some will say, hey, that's problematic. I wanted to use a different user. Uh, the reason that happens is, uh, as mentioned, you were already over at Twitter.com um, by virtue of your previous login session, um, and Twitter recognizes that and automatically redirects you back as that particular username. So what you want to do is go ahead and make sure you're also signed out at Twitter, uh, Twitter.com uh, for a particular user, so that when you re-execute the login process, the sign in with Twitter process uh, at Twitter Gadget, you'll now be re-prompted for a different username and password that you can log in as. So say now I log in as, 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 as a, a different username and click sign in. That, this particular username had already granted access in the past, so you're no longer asked to do so again. We redirect you, and now you're logged in um, at Twitter Gadget as that different user. So the other thing I want to point out is, is now if we go back to Twitter.com as well, you'll see that there's an active session now for the John Test account that I just logged in as. What's important to know is I can go ahead and sign out of Twitter.com and that has absolutely no impact on my ability to use Twitter Gadget, let's reload this frame, to use Twitter Gadget as that particular user. Once you've logged into the OAuth process and granted access and are redirected back to Twitter Gadget, you can happily go ahead and, and use Twitter Gadget, again, for the duration of the browser session or for up to seven days if that's the option you clicked uh, for Remember Me. Being logged into Twitter has absolutely no impact anymore on being logged in to Twitter Gadget uh, once you've granted access uh, to our application. Again, that's important to note because people are keep thinking I need to be logged into Twitter uh, as a particular user to now use Twitter Gadget, Twitter Gadget as well for that same user. And that's not the case. Uh, again, once you're uh, logged in and granted access to Twitter Gadget, there's no longer any requirement uh, to be logged into Twitter.com as well. Uh, so you can go back to Twitter.com, log in as anybody you wish. Uh, let's see, we'll be logged in as, as our T Gadget account, for example, here. 
we're logged in as T Gadget over here at Twitter. We're still logged in. Let's go ahead and refresh this frame. We're still logged in as John Test Account here. So that's the process flow, and that's the examples I wanted to try to demonstrate to make sure people are understanding that. The crux of the matter is, is when you use the login to a Twitter process, if there's already an active session over at twitter.com for a particular user, Twitters are going to automatically use that active session uh, to log you in to Twitter Gadget. So if you want to be logged in as a different user, just make sure you're over at twitter.com that you're logged out um, for a particular user. You can then log in to Twitter Gadget and use a new username, uh, redirect in, refresh, validate. You're now in that user, in as that username. You can go back to twitter.com and log in as whoever you want. So again, I hope that helps clarify uh, the, the OAuth process flow. Um, but certainly, if you have any questions uh, or any confusion and, and you'd like a, a better understanding after watching this video even, feel free to shoot us a feedback email via the, uh, the gadget uh, feedback uh, area um, right here. Or uh, um, send us a tweet, and we'll be glad to go ahead and answer, answer those questions the uh, best we can. Uh, again, thanks for using Twitter Gadget, and we'll see you next time.